This is how McDonald's McFlurries are made. I mean, that milk bag does look a little bit sus. Are we sure that's milk? What else would it be? Bubbles. I can't eat this anymore. I'm gonna throw up. Why, is it the bubbles? It just looks disgusting. It's it's the little funnel. It's nasty. All right, I didn't think it looked that bad, but Josh now will lose a point because throughout the entire video, everything we react to, we have to eat. And if we look away or stop eating, we lose a point. And you didn't tell me this before? Oh, dude, this is so big. Okay, dude, this is licorice. Oh, but this isn't just any licorice. This is red vines. Usually, I'm like, I'm gonna be honest, I'm a Twizzler guy. I don't even know what a red vine is. Like, do they harvest these from the grapevine? I don't know. This doesn't look super gross, though. I'm not gonna lie. No, I mean, I think this looks tasty. <laughs> wait, is there red 40 in this? Oh, wait, no. do you think there's... Wait, I think there's red 40 in there this. There is definitely red 40. Fun yeah. fact, I am deathly allergic to red 40. No, you're not. Stop it. Oh my gosh, it looks like the... It looks like meat. It does look like meat. It's like the queen sack. What? Like, what is that jiggly Dude, thing? Dude, poppy playtime food, bro. I forgot to mention as well, Josh. The loser at the end of this video has to drink from the death cup. It's every ingredient blended into one cup. Ugh. Yes, dude, McDonald's chicken nuggets. I don't, I literally don't care how these are made. Like, I could eat 40 of these. You think they're that good? They're, they're so good. He's kind of right. They're pretty much the best nugget ever. <laughs> whoa, whoa, buddy, what was that? You didn't look away. Was it the shoot of meat going up yes. the escalator? Yes. Wait, you were the guy who just said, you don't care how they're made, they're so delicious. And then you, you dry heat. Until they freaking <laughs> ran a meat up an escalator. Meat is meant yes. to stay off of escalators. All you gotta do is subscribe if you would eat McDonald's McNuggets no matter what. I still respect these. They, they are better with, oh my gosh, wait, those do look like silicone. We're actually eating concrete. How do they get the shape? I want to know how they get the shape. Show us how to get the shape, lady. Look, they have to wear safety helmets because of the freaking ingredients. They use. This is coming from the guy who just lost a point. Oh, is this salami? Whoa, we're going all the way to Italy for this next one. Salami? Where's our baguette at? Where's Tommy when you need a salami? What are you talking about? <laughs> what do you mean? That'd be a great brand. If there's not a Tommy salami out there, make it, Italians. I want to watch a water one. I want to see how water's made. Are you stupid or something? Whoa, whoa, wait, go back. Did that guy just make a, did that guy make a three-pointer? Falling away, puts it up. What, wait, what did he throw though? I want to know what that was. Why is bro trying to make an athletic salami uh, video? Listen, okay, if you came up to me and said, how is salami made? This is what I'd picture in my mind. Yeah, I mean. <laughs> Freaking mystery ingredients all put into one thing. It, it's pretty good though. I like the taste of salami. That's what she said. This is the whole extraction process. Whoa. That's the entire comb. Okay. Freaking whatever honey harvest hives, whatever they're called, they look good, but when they're old and ugly, they just look disgusting. Oh, I'm getting a little, let me give this drizzy. Oh yeah. I'll drizzy for you, I'll drizzy for you. Look at this beautiful harvest, huh? Oh, it, <laughs> it, it filled. It looks pretty good. I don't know. I like it. This oatmeal on the other hand. Yeah, the honey's great. The oatmeal, you know, it. it <laughs> Let's just say grandma didn't make this oatmeal. Okay. Grandma made some great oatmeal. Oh, you love the honey, huh? It's the world's most popular hot sauce, Tabasco. It's really hot though. Uh, the Italians don't know what ranch is, but they love their Tabasco. <laughs> it's almost as hot as- Are you trying to do a fire merch plug? Are you trying to shill the new buy one, get one on our June tea of the month that I'm currently wearing right now? Absolutely. Yeah, that's right. Firemerch.com. The one thing I will say about Tabasco- I'm not the like, biggest fan. It's a little too wet. That's what she said. <clears throat> it should be a little bit more thick. That's what she said. I like buffalo sauce more. Yeah, it's got a solid flavor. I'm pretty good. But I have always wondered, because like, if you look at the ingredients, three ingredients, that's it. But what is this? This is some fur, is this, what the fudge? Oh, is it fermented salt? Where are they freaking making these, bro? They're crafting this in a dungeon. I, I know that smell, I know that smell insane. Yep, smells like Tabasco. <laughs> They're pretty yummy. I do respect that it's only three ingredients and somehow has become the world's most popular hot sauce. But I will say, I like Tabasco, but Cholula or Valentino, I do feel like oh, is a absolutely. superior hot sauce. Valentino is delicious. But I think that this one, like you can store this like on the tables. These are good on, on tacos. Oh yeah, and that's why every restaurant has Tabasco because like you can keep it outside. It doesn't have to be it's put in the fridge. It's consistent, but it's not great. This is the sauce nobody can pronounce. Worcestershire? Worc Worcestershire. Worcestershire sauce. Worcestershire. It's a big ingredient in the Caesar salad dressing that we're eating right now. Take a bite, take a bite, take a bite. Dink it. Tastes fantastic. Yummy. Shrimp? Oh no, those are onions. There's like marinated onions, I think, right? Oh. No wonder it tastes so freaking exotic. Oh my God, that is disgusting. Wait, are those anchovies or sardines? All right, dude, unpopular opinion, sardines and anchovies are delicious. And hey guys, so my delicious. name is Preston, I want to be different. Oh! No, dude, it's literally not about that, okay? Look up the nutrition facts, huh? Freaking McDonald's grown boy. You look like you grew up on Jack in a Box. I know you did, because I did too. Oh my 
my gosh, that's so many sort or anchovies. Dude, that actually looks like a horror movie. <laughs> oh my god. It looks like they're blending blood. Is this salt or is it sugar? Wait, so there's that much sugar in It's a mixture. It's but I mean, I guess it is. That's a lot of Worcestershire sauce. Several months to make a bottle of sauce you can't even pronounce? These are great looking salads. I mean, I gotta be honest. I would definitely eat this salad, and I don't even like salad. Canned tuna fish. Actually, is not terrible. No, it's great, but look at. I, I didn't realize, because I played uh, video games growing up and caught tuna fish in the games. I didn't know how big these things were. Like, they're freaking huge. The issue is the aftertaste. Wait, you don't like the aftertaste? No, no, I don't. Bro, this is protein. This is what Chad at the gym, who's gonna steal your lady, is eating every day. And if you're not eating it, Chad's gonna steal your girl. <laughs> it's so good, dude. Yeah, that's tuna. That does not look that like That looks like freaking cheese. What? <laughs> Wait, that's how they can it? They cut it into pizza pies? Oh, wow. I always think that's satisfying, the scanner thing. I do like it. They do call it the chicken of the sea. Yeah, it's that's really not that bad. Yeah, but if you eat too much, you do get mercury. So don't, don't eat too many cans. We don't want you to die. We get what? Cheetos! Perfect. So Cheetos are actually a corn puff. Big surprise, America reusing a lot of the corn we had from the Cold War. No surprise there, but look at this. Oh my gosh, wait, it's a naked Cheeto. Look at how Ew. it looks. Kind of just looks like an elongated popcorn. It does. It's so like not colorful. Okay, this is a, my favorite way to eat a Cheeto is to like suck the flavor and then chew it. Why would you say that? That's like good with hot Cheetos, but like, no, why are you savoring the flavor of a Cheeto? That's the best part of the Cheeto. It's like the bread on a cake is the best part. I'm gonna be honest, I don't like Cheetos that much. Really? It's hot Cheetos that are delicious. I will say Cheeto puffs superior to the oh, original. Yeah. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Especially the white cheddar, I can go ham on those. I'm like zero for three people, this huh? video, bro. I've always been curious how hot dogs are made. Have you ever heard the horror stories about how these are supposed to be made? Well, you know, sometimes when you eat a hot dog, it sort of just tastes like mystery yeah. meat. I mean, these hot dogs are a little bit cold. What is that? Is that water? Is that the meat? Uh, is this what I'm eating right now? No way that is the meat. Can you take one for the team and lose a point? I'm not losing this point, dude. Listen, I am experienced with this type of meat. What did he say? Hey. Oh, no, no, look at this. That is oh my god! <laughs> oh, I can't look away. Oh, you just lost a point. No, I That's didn't know that. I didn't know that. I didn't know that. Wait, go back to this. That is me after a serious amount of uh, magnesium. Please like the video if you saw Josh turn around. Whoa, pecan. Surprisingly, I actually hate bacon. Whoa, no way. Dude, bacon. You either love it or you hate it. They look like rabbits. Oh my gosh. I feel like we gotta like do like a friggin' like, what do they all call it? Pig CTA? Like, I don't know. Shout out these pigs, but I feel bad. <laughs> Shout out to the pigs I'm eating. <laughs> Thanks for dying for us. Bacon is literally like one of the most staple things ever. It's also pretty good for you. It's got a lot of healthy fats. You know, it's flavorful. It's got protein. Protein? You can't eat too much of it though, because it's got so much flavor in it. Why, well, Mr. Health Guy? Like, I'm sorry, I don't play volleyball all the time and have a fast metabolism, right? Your older brother gains weight easily. <laughs> sorry to hear that. I don't know. <laughs> Put trauma dumping on me. I trauma. Is that a new word that the the Gen Zers use? Everyone <laughs> knows what that means. Nobody ever says trauma dumping. You know who's being trauma dumped? These pigs. Yeah, yeah I feel terrible. You want to talk about some real trauma dumping? <laughs> They're being dumped into boxes and shipped. Dude, Peter watches the video. That can be good. <laughs> all right, this is a big one. That's what she said. People don't like spam, and I grew up being lied to. It's actually so good. It is really good if you cook it. And the Hawaiians do it the best way. Dude, musubi? Yeah, so spam good. musubi, and you can also turn it into like a sushi. You put like rice on it. It's also really fun to open. Hey, will you uh, smack my spam? Oh, wait, 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 oh, wait, wait. My phone! <laughs> Sorry guys, I uh, I spammed all over Josh's phone. What do you mean by that? And this is the one time I will let you guys spam in the comments. That's really gross. This next thing is literally Joshua. Slim Jim. The Slim Jim. Home of the world's most impossible package to open. It, it is a little bit difficult to open. But look, okay, I like this. The graphics they're using right now. <laughs> Meat stick and booty. And I will say Slim Jim has banger socials. They kind of remind me of Wendy's. They're always going crazy on like people's comments on Twitter. Oh, they come from, why does the, wait, why does it come from older cows? Wait, I thought this was pork. I mean, yeah, it's a mix, right? Yeah, beef and pork. They do have to specify that. Why do they gotta specify it? Yeah, you know, they really should have that frustration free packaging. It says grip and rip. Take that how you want. Slim Jims are good, but like I wouldn't go out of my way to eat it. Yeah, like I think it's like you need a quick bite. You want some protein. You know how people have like gas station orders? Like I've never heard someone with a Slim Jim in their gas station order. You're really gripping that, dude. Bro, I'm like, I'm just trying to grip and rip. And they're saying we'll not grip and rip. I gripped and slipped. What? What the f 
Loser. Oh, listen, buddy. Uh, okay. This is Spam Tuna Slim Jim. Come on, let's see it. Just take a glove. Wait, take a sideways glove. Let's make sure that there's some proof over here. <laughs> Hold on, I need a second. I actually need a second. <laughs> Just take a sip. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> Wow, it's pretty bad.